Next month marks the 10th anniversary of the 2003 Rugby World Cup, won in dramatic fashion by England. But the tournament also provided rugby fans with their first sight of Fiji's Rupeni Thao Thao with his explosive performances against France and Scotland. There is Little on the loop. Nice work by Tui Levu. Thao Thao! Oh, that is a wonderful, wonderful try! He became one of the game's hottest properties with the world at his feet, or so it seemed. A year after the World Cup, he moved to French club Agen. I feel like a little bit different because uh, when I was playing Super 12, it's, it's one of the high level in rugby. In uh, top 16, I feel like a little bit, uh, what, what, what I can say, a little bit down, down here. And uh, I think the Super, uh, Super 12 is up here. It's a little bit different. During the next five years, he scored 65 tries in 108 appearances for the top 14 side. But while his performances on the field remained impressive, he repeatedly courted controversy off it. Once hailed as the greatest attacking player in world rugby, Thao Thao has made just seven appearances for his country. In 2011, he was released by Agen after a second spell with the club, but he remained in France and joined Toulouse. It would prove another short-lived relationship, despite helping his new team to the top 14 final that year with a match-winning performance against Clermont. After another period in the wilderness, he's now returned to New Zealand, to the club where it all began 12 years ago, Northland. This is the place where I start my career rugby and uh, going to overseas, but I think my, uh, now I'm coming back, it's going to be the same, same as the last time. For me here, it's, uh, it's a new start. His coach at Northland is former teammate Darren Whitcomb. I remember back in 2001, 2002, I played my first game uh, for Northland with, with Rupini. So uh, now coaching him, uh, it's interesting. But he's, uh, he's actually a different character. He's changed a lot and uh, he's really keen to, to um, show everyone he can still do it, which is exciting. It's good because he's encouraged me to do well if I want to get good money in overseas, but to start from here. You have to do well, you have to train hard, you have to play a good 80 minutes, you have to go to the promotion, you have to turn up in training, you have to do like he's telling me everything and he helped me a lot for this because um, he's my good friend. You don't want to overcoach people like that. Um, I guess everyone's got to keep to, keep to team systems and, and structures and things like that. Um, I sure as hell ain't going to teach him how to step, so <laughs> I'll leave that up to him. I'm older than all those uh, players, but uh, everything that I do, I have to give an example for them. And uh, because they're going to look at me and say, oh, but I don't want to put myself up here. I want to put myself at the same level and to be working hard, training hard, turn up on time, on training, swimming pool, everything. Thao Thao readily admits that he's made mistakes in the past, but for now it's the pragmatic realities that are concentrating his mind. I'm working hard because now I have three kids and uh, I'm working hard now before I retire for their future. When I finish, I have something for my kids, for my family. Now it's a little bit struggle because I'm 34 years old, and, but now the more I play, I think the more I'm gonna enjoy it. I want to show everyone that I'm still got it, yeah.